world will get old before it get rich a famous quote depicting that yes there is an advancement in the medical science that now the life expectancy of the humans have been increased also we are living in the world where in the pandemic still learning is on gratitude to e physiocon 2020 who gave me this opportunity to showcase my knowledge in a wearing the world and that too by maintaining social distancing i vishali jindal pursuing bpt from delhi university presents my e poster on the topic smartphone usage for quantifying the parkinsonism motor disorders my topic revolves around the technology all thanks to advancement geriatric population and their motor symptoms as physios are also known as movement specialists with the taking care of the social distancing will aware on telemedicine as we all know that the treatment depend on the assessment hence in order to uplift the treatment protocol assessment has to be accurate as much as it can be parkinsonism a prevalent movement disorder condition of the cns in geriatrics results in bradykinesia rigidity freezing gait and hand resting tremors yes through medication dopamine levels are kept on maintenance but it has its own adverse effects including dyskinesia hand resting tremors and the freezing gait making the physios a frontliner in treating them till today we physios are unable to give as effective treatment as we can if we have an insight or if we can you know look each and every moment of the patient but unfortunately it is not possible for us to know what is the severity of the parkinsonism disease in one session that is how much the freezing gait and the hand resting tremors are occurring to the patient as each and every patient differ also economically and physically it is not possible for each and every patient to take the sessions so pd doctor is a mobile app which helps in dealing with all these problems it is an easy software having the 3d accelerometer which is affordable and enable home based assessment and monitoring coming to the methods pd doctor has a two component one is sensor present in the mobile and the other is cloud which stores information or the data and send it to the clinician and the patient patient has to wear it on the hand just like the wrist watch for sensing hand resting tremors and on the ankle just like anklet to measure the freezing gait so whenever patient do any movement it senses and record the data in the form of graph which is then stored in the cloud from where it is sent to the clinician and to the patient the clinician or the therapist can evaluate the graph and can make the changes to the treatment protocol thus making it accurate as you can see at the bottom the leftmost bottom graph is showing the fluctuation in hand resting tremors more the fluctuation more the severity of the parkinsonism disease similarly adjacent to it the graph is shown for freezing gait less the fluctuation more is the severity with this not only clinician is able to ha- uh, to have a effective treatment protocol but also it motivates the patient psychologically and hence increases the chances of compliance so with this app it helps in slowing the progression of the disease coming to the results sensitivity in the hand resting tremors is 0.77 and the accuracy is 0.82 while in the gait difficulty the sensitivity is 0.89 and the accuracy is 0.81 so the conclusion is This app is eco-friendly, easy to operate by the patient since smartphone is available in each and every house. 
Not only this, the therapist can keep an eye on the patient, therefore increases the compliance of the patient. And being at a distance, too, advice can be taken. Means avoiding the physical stress to the patient. Country like India, which is a developing one, this app is comparatively cheaper than other, so can be accessible to the developing country. At the end, I would like to say that we are continuing our education or the learning process through social distancing. In the similar way, we can effectively bring the better treatment through telemedicine. That is by using the technology. I hope I am able to aware the world about this app so that effective treatment can be brought to the Parkinsonism disease. Thank you. World will get old before it get rich. A famous quote depicting that yes, there is an advancement in the medical science, that now the life expectancy of the humans have been increased. Also, we are living in the world where in the pandemic still learning is on. Gratitude to eFysiocon 2020 who gave me this opportunity to showcase my knowledge in awareing the world and that too by maintaining social distancing. I, Vaishali Jindal, pursuing BPT from Delhi University, presents my e-posture on the topic Smartphone Usage for Quantifying the Parkinsonism Motor Disorders. My topic revolves around the technology, all thanks to Edwin.